where it's oh. like impossible to deal with. But now you gotta rely on the things that work. Silvana. Yeah, but definitely we gotta see the smirk coming in from the side of Alter Ego. Is this a setup or what? Because they obviously have choices to ban it out. Instead, they ban out the Matilda, knowing for the fact that this Silvana is being left out in the open. And this is that hot pick throughout the entirety of the playoffs that has been making those big plays with Imperial Justice. So how could you possibly get, a, you know, the high priority sort of mages to play out here without, you know, forgetting about her oh. high tier picks and Selena, Esmeralda, both all in one. Yep. I like the it out. picks coming up here from Alter Ego. It seems just like something that Bryn would Big mm. if they were in the red side. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And now this one dominant pick, Lancelot has been working out for both sides here and has been the winning fa one of the winning factors as they push in towards this third game. But final pick coming in. What are they gonna do with this one? Lapu Lapu still on the table. Benedetta is gone and Yuzong is gone. So that's gonna be one of the stronger offlaners. But don't forget, Wan Wan is available. Yeah, that definitely is a very strong marksman out there. And heading it towards the second phase of the band, of course, well, there's going to be a lot more things to be asked off of Lilius oh. after Rebel selects this oh. one. <gasps> yeah, this okay. is what I was, I what I was saying. Um, thinking that maybe it's Lusty on the Sylvana, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this is as quick as the Prestige, if this was like a magic trick, that you already show that, oh, just kidding, this is actually going to be on. Okay, I, I got this really random thought. Like, you, you see there's a lot of lockdown and such. Mm -hmm. What if they take one copy of the playbook of Ruby's Goals? Diggy. That's a pretty good shout, yeah. though. Yeah. You think you think they would you think they would actually do it though? There's a possibility if it negates all the initiation mechanics you have on your side, it would do you good. Now they have the Selena, they just have to pick the Diggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Alter Ego has more room to do that. I mean, of course, but knowing Alter Ego, that sounds off-brand. It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to take Diggy. It's going to have Aegis. We're going to play super defensive. It, it sounds. It, it doesn't sound like Alter Ego. Alter Ego is aggressive. Alter Ego yeah. dominates in lane. And that's how they take these plays further and further and further. Unless push comes to shove, Bren comes along and says, hey, we're able to push back. Hmm, first ball is in the court of Alter Ego Esports for the first pay, uh, phase number two, so it really has to be more mages to be locked away from the grasp of a brand esports right now. Lunox, honestly, we haven't seen that much from the side of brand esports. So, is this a wordy ban that we're looking at here? And other than that, what else Alter Ego wants to remove? It it stops the Esmeralda for, uh, from being relevant into the early game. Like, you have your Falling Star Moon, but if there is ever a Ludox on that side, Chaos Darkening and Chaos Bolts will take you out. That's one, I'm one, they're 100% sure of that, and they do not want that to happen. Just give your Esmeralda a good life. Yep, and uh, that's coming out of the side lane. So what's missing from Brenny Sports that possibly also you can attack while we wait for this ban, uh, there is the side lane. It's actually both side lanes. They need to fill in both sides uh. here. And Brenny Sports is choking out Leo Murphy. I like it that they're reel. yeah they're respecting Leo Murphy with that tick reel because Leo Murphy plays one mean tick reel. He can control people and looking at how dive heavy this composition for Brent Esports is, it only takes one flicker and one implosion to turn things around. Mm -hmm. I totally agree there. And now Alter Ego, I I'm noticing that they want to give Pi a really, a Pi or, a, the Pi or Selly Boy a really good time. They are looking for that counter matchup against Bren Esports. And now, ooh, even better, Bren ban uh, bans out that draw head here. Alter Ego, my, ge uh, my guess here is that they're trying to go for this big setup, but they want to know what the offlane of Bren Esports is. I don't think they're going to blind Lapu Lapu here. I feel like they're probably going to go for, yeah, their support pick. Yeah. It's going to be the Hilda. Yeah. And now Bren, if they lock into Lapu Lapu, or if they look to try to get their scaling uh, side laner, like preemptively go for the one one, at least Alter Ego will have options to deal with. Well, I think this is the only chance they got. Again, two last picks, right? And they need to fill in uh, both the XP lane and the gold lane. Yep. And I'm liking what you're throwing out to the universe, man. Maybe the 1-1, one, one, and then give something to Flap Easy, which is, yeah, that's the Lapu Lapu. Yeah, good call, because we haven't seen that oh. band coming through, but they're bringing it in the box here. Yeah. So, let's talk us through, because when you see Lynx, this is 
where you actually want to head to. Uh, I, yeah, I guess Baksha is just a reaction pick for the Hilda. And the Esmeralda. Really, yeah, it's really good because the thing is, if you see the Hilda and you get a damage on her, then that means you will be forced out of that brush and you won't be. If, he stay, if she stays there, then that only means she's not going to get all the regeneration that is intended for her just because of your passives exactly these are the, just the pseudo counters for esmeralda we've seen it in previous seasons before you know the lunox is a way to kind of just shut down the esmeralda early on and then when esmeralda got really got buffed up and got really strong in the early stages of the game where she got a little too overpowered boxia came in to kind of fill that hole to make sure hey my toys poissons is really really powerful against that regeneration like butter said but now alter ego gonna have to make a choice here they see it but now they're gonna be locking in the claw very, very reliable, can scale, hyper-powered into the late game in comparison to 1-1. One, one. However, it's not going to be as safe. Okay, we haven't heard the shout for a while, and after locking in towards the cloth here, they're getting that rejoice confidence that, hey, we finally get the pick that we won, and yeah, they're kind of happy they're not dealing with any of that sort of 1-1 one, one coming in, so I'm pretty sure you guys got to talk about this one. L let's just say that you plays one a mean championship Selena. Let's not forget the deal. The deal. This is in his playbook. He plays this a lot as well. And as you can hear at the back, ladies and gentlemen, the screams from these teams. They're just coming in. Yeah. <laughs> very, very kind words back and forth here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where, you know, it's a whole lot of all these sorry, hashtags going up in the chat all over the place. So hopefully your predictions and your coins will be getting doubled but right after this because this is the very last game of the evening in the M2 World Championship before we go into Five our grand final runs tomorrow. All right, people in chat, people at Cafe Cinemas, make sure you're making some noise for your favorite teams and show your support in the chat wherever you are. This is the final game, Brand Esports versus Alter Ego. Take it away, casters. Mm. Now, we are seeing Leo Murphy start off with a good invade, just trying it out, just trying to get information, and this is what Leo Murphy does best. Now, if you is left into the middle lane, Lusty does get the tank to show he, with the concussive blast. And on the top lane, there is a Farsa and a Claude basically Ooh. up against each other in the gold lane. And I like that matchup, by the way, because they're both ranged and they can each just bother the other. Now Lusty spending here the Cyclone Eye. Flapteasy smells that there's a fight going on. Leo Murphy gets caught in by Carlteasy Butters. It's blowing up right now. And Leo Murphy is the target. Lusty gets away. And look at this. A four-man, a three-man rotate to the jungle just to punish whatever Alter Ego is doing. Hilda here, Leo Murphy is not getting the best start in the early game. Oh, okay. Showing some respect, I just assume, coming from TZ with the stickers. And, you know, it's just a Hilda at the very end of the day. He's just giving the first blood, of course. But who is it giving to is the question here because Lusty can snowball out this. Oh! Phantom execution into the rollout. They catch him. 2-0 currently is the score. Butters, it's a very small lead, but Brenny Sports, I think they've understood what Alter Ego is all about, how they've been rotating, how they've been moving. Yeah, Liam Murphy is, do, is doing his job. But remember, you should not try to Turtle tunnel vision as soon. much. If they can punish you like that and they have good damage, then might as well just back off and uh, give a bit of a breather for your team in terms of giving gold to the enemy. Oh, oh, the yeah. turtle, though. And there is going to be the turtle. And right now, the Lance will secure it. Yam here getting called out. Does he have the flicker, though? No, he doesn't. The Esmeralda is stuck there. That is going to be Lusty taking that kill. Carl getting called out. Look at this HP bar. One more hit will take him down. But Leo Murphy is just forced to control Flap. Phew is still there in the enemy jungle. What? And Telly Boy. Selly Boy and Dudil, Leopai, they are here, they react, and Farsa 
is still up top. <laughs> wow, I couldn't believe that Red Esports actually get away with so much out of that. And that sort of push and pull going inside of the jungle just for that sake of the buff definitely isn't all too worth it for Alter Ego Esports. Yeah, of course, the Murphy goes down twice. And the one that managed to be punished to cure is definitely going to be Yam, which will definitely hurt in terms of getting his items up much early on. But here comes Lusty. As you can see, Celiboy is still not getting that orange buff. And this could be the time where Alter Ego comes for the revenge in terms of fights. Because when Celiboy gets this, he gets the damage output that he needs. And they can just go at it, especially against the Lancelot. Now, Lance has the Nimble Blade. Leo Murphy there just having a bit of a scuffle with Flap TZ. Yeah, and of course, looking at the early stage of the game here, yes, as much as Alter Ego is having a very hard time, the mid game is where it matters the most because that's where they need a lot of all these things to come online, especially Pi as well as Chelly Boy. But oh boy, there comes a little bit of catch. And Flap TZ with the rollout, and that is going to be Lancelot holding on to Leo Murphy. Leo May Murphy just goes down, Odell gets kicked. Polystar Moon hits on Flap, and Yam, I don't think that's the best thing for you to do. That is going to be the Tempest of Blades. It oh! will be used to get away, and Carl DZ here on a killing spree, 5-0. Four minutes into the game. Holy oh. guacamole, nice catch there. And all this time, it was just pie farming. And I'm wondering if it's worth it, all this gold he was getting, contra you were saying. Yeah, and he timed it also well for the perfect execution. Just a dive straight to secure that kill. And what else is secure? Another turtle in the back. Two for two here. Now, they did this earlier against Todak. They were getting a lot of the turtles, but the thing is, they're not really converting it into turrets. Now. They should avoid that if that happens, and Pi almost getting caught, but he will stay alive. Mm. Look at how effective Flaptizi is doing all the dirty work. Only five assists, and this such a short span of time, five minutes on the clock. And what else should we expect here? Oh yeah, five assists, good note. That means he's been part of every team fight from minute zero. I think it's time for us to actually go for an item check because Chelly Boy just picked up his Raptor Machete. Looking at the other side, Carl Tizi, he has that and some. He's building up a little faster given the 2,000 gold lead on the side of Brenny Sports. But check out Flap Tizi as well. He should be getting quite a bit of kit too. He has uh, one half of that uh, Cursed Helm. And right now, oh, the first kill for Alter Ego. That's going to be a shutdown on Toribo. And those are the opportunities that Alter Ego can just go for. The link, the mobility on him, the arrows, they still have a lot of ways to catch up now. Yam using the Fallen Star Moon wisely, he just goes for the escape. Okay. Well, we're going in towards this situation where Ren does not want to make the same mistake. And seemingly enough, speaking of which, Chelly Boy just moves right in and goes in for setup, and that's where Kai gets his first kill too. That's a lot of resources spent just to take down Lusty, but oh. I think at this point it's worth it. It's because Alter Ego should find everything for free that they can now. Feathered Airstrike coming in here, blazing duet by Pi, and that's gonna be few taken down by a notch, but from behind, Flap Easy catches him. He says, Welcome to the jungle. This may be your side of the map, but hold up, they're not done. Falling Star Moon by Yam, they get something back, and few bites it. Yeah. Oh, it's Leo not Marie. over. He's trying to make himself alive out of the situation, but it's a mega kill that will be in the hands of Carl Teezy. Oh, ready for and straight away purchases that blade of have to seize. Now and towards mid lane. Kaboom! Grasses and towards Chelly Boy. Chelly Boy here. He's doing a great job finding those pickoffs. Like he's all over the map. He's trying to right, find the right targets and he's been getting a lot of these pickoffs. Now, if you could check that he has two assists, but technically the damage output isn't still enough out of this moment. And Yam here using the Purify to get away from that Imperial Justice. Another turtle going to the side here of Brent. Yeah, and uh, speaking of which, I just feel that Alter EO Esports is just looking for that late game play. Run Esports, like what I tried to mention earlier before the fight started, they need to learn from some of all these past games where Omega Esports have given too much of time for the RQ to make a comeback, and that's where Link gets a lot more dangerous. But Flaptizi still all over the map. Odil gets caught out. Odil using that mark. But Carl just goes in for the jugular. And as you can see, Yam here doesn't have to purify. 
There goes that feathered airstrike, but it won't be enough as they still have to chase down Yam and Yam here. He's being chased by attack and support, and they did not go all in on this. Oh! And Pai gets punished for staying in the enemy's jungle. At every turn, Bren Esports just finds a way to one-up Alter Ego. And this is obviously a different team that we've seen since the playoffs started. And right now, they're going to find one from the bottom lane. The Chelly Boy gets one on Toribo. And Ew. here comes Few, going to jump in. Misses the Imperial Justice, but it's fine. At least he saved that lane. And Chelly Boy here. He's trying to get away, he will be able to. And uh, you were saying, Contra? Yeah, and uh, well, I definitely lost my train of thoughts, but we are already seeing a lot of all these errors that were forced coming from the side of Alter Ego. And with that, Baptizi is trying his best to just uh, get himself the lane cleared up, but Endless Battle has been purchased. And okay, I got my points back because Kalkizi. He's definitely looking like the MVP right now. If it's not him, definitely it's not easy. And they catch Selena out, and that is going to be Odile going down once again. Feathered Airstrike here using it at its maximum potential. Brent Esports, they're just making it happen for them into the mid game. And look at that knock up. Purify is available for Yam, though. I don't think they'll go for the full engage. Dil Murphy now getting chased by three members inside of Brand Esports. I'm not sure if the rest of Outer Ego is going to respond to this one because he's looking pretty healthy and confident with this one. But fine, he comes from the back. Oh. They do expect this one. Plays a duet on towards Lusty. He might actually go down. Oh. Flicker coming out as well. But here comes the cavalry. Rebo opens up the Feather Airstrike, oh. but they're still chasing oh. right in. But oh. Dil Murphy coming from the back. He tries to stop Lusty. Oh, Lusty escapes. Masterful maneuvering from both teams. It was the in and out that kept both teams alive, not a single casualty. And I must say, what priority setting here by Alter Ego, because all this time, the reason why they could not lay down so much firepower is because they were so focused on pushing the top lane. And now, because of that, oh. their patience is paid off. That's going to be the second tier turret taken down. Now, Carl DZ has set his eyes onto Leo Murphy. Oh. Plus, he puts in the final blow. Just look at how big this Lancelot gets. And, well, we're just going to be stacking more and more kills if this is the raid that Alter Ego Esports is going. And the Lord is already up online. Yeah, he's getting caught up by Kaltizi. But remember, just try to remember that there is still scaling onto the side of Alter Ego Esports. They will try to take down Yam. Yam here will get away, but oh! they get the catch on oh, Shelly Boy. They said Yam is small fry. We want Shelly Boy. We want to shut down this Ling. And boy, did they get their cake and eat it too. At this point, as much as you see that 12k, I mean 12k on the side of Brand Esports, but the gold differential is only 2,000 at the moment. Now with the Lord dropping down to 50%, this is definitely that monumental fight that they need to win for Alter Ego Esports. But oh, Wainer Dragon connects towards Leo Murphy as Yam over the back tries to look for a pick, but he's going sideways, and I'm not sure if they're getting anywhere near this Lord. But Alter Ego. They're pretty much flush out with two members down. Carl mm, DZ here just going straight for that purple. He knows that Chelly Boy needs this to have his maximum fighting potential. Oh! Still will be the next target. It won't be enough. With a sliver of HP, he lives, but the solo of Lava does its job. That's going to be a triple kill. Chelly Boy here with the Tempest of Blades. Will he get away? Yes, he will. Three for Nando still. Three for none, and now this is just a prime time for Brenny Sports to make big moves. Whether it be taking this lane down bottom, first tier turret still standing, or checking out Lord if it's a good take. Right now, item check, 12 minutes in. That's going to be Carl TZ building up to his, temp uh, his uh, Blade of Despair. On the other hand, Alter Ego Sports. How's Chelly Boy feeling? Sitting at one, one, and two. He has his... Um, he has his uh, Demon Hunter sword already. I think this up next is going to be a Berserker's Fury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, just looking at even the waves not being managed right now, Udil has just arrived to the scene, but the Lord already falling pretty low. Lil Muffy stays high, but he can't really get that execution, can he? As you can see, the Lord has already taken Fiber and Esports. Oh my goodness, the screams, the shouts, that caught me off guard. Now they have that knock up on Yam. And they even get the Lord two members here for the side of Alter Ego. They are down for the count. Bren Esports 
they are just controlling this game. Yeah, and before that Lord, and of course that fight that just broke out, it was only about two to 3,000, and this is definitely gonna be big disparities as he tries to land a Tempest, but they have to make a run for it live. They can't deal with this big fat Lancelot right in front of their face. They're gonna be oh. using up the better airstrike as well, just to shoot them all the way back and towards the base. And let's see how much can they open up right here, because Knock, knock, the Lord is here. Few is not shy to use his ult just to clear waves or to push the rest of Alter Ego back. Mm. Not at all. Not at all. Alter Ego, can they hold the line? The Lord is still up. Half HP, inhibitor turret onto the bottom lane is down. Top lane still has an outer turret. Let's see what Bren Esports thinks that they have to do oh it. Boy. Look at that knock up to save Rebo. Rebo is here in the middle and he will go for the blinker. Shelly Boy going in for that Farsa. He uses wings by wings and two turrets going to the side of Red Esports while everything of that was happening. Oh, well, Leo here is going to be having Shelly Boy having triple as the setting done, but Shelly Boy gets picked up. He is legendary 13 and oh, called Teasy. I, Ladies and gentlemen, the prodigy is in the building. I hope that the viewers can just hear the sh screaming and shouting here between the players. This is getting very intense. Yep, the atmosphere is electrifying. Alter Ego Esports holding on for dear life to stay in this tournament. And so far, Brandy Sports, they're feeling it with this 8,000 gold lead. Here, 14 minutes, 30 seconds into game number three. 19 to 6, and they're going to start choking Chelly Boy out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, we're going to be seeing Flap Teasy here tanking every single one of these hits coming from Alter Ego while Lusty is chasing from the back. He's trying to find that way of the dragon, but here goes that pick, and it will be Carl Teasy who else will get the kill as they do get members of the Sun oh, Alter oh, Ego oh, in strats. It's a double oh. for Carl. Is he going to get the, the triple right here? But of course, Alter Ego, they say. Enough is enough. We're going to be retreating. It's time for look for alternatives because this is not working out. Remember, still, the clock is ticking for Bren Esports. They should end this now. The flood is getting big. Oh, here we go. Feathered Airstrike started in by the Dr. Leo Murphy retreating. This turret is getting the brunt of all of Bren Esports' frustration, anger, and now sweet, sweet victory is imminent. What can Alter Ego, Alter Ego do here to, 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 to just extend this match to really get Pi online? Just to see how they are extending this match, this is where Chelly Boy has a lot of duty to play because he has to cut every single wave that he sees until that wall appears and then that's where it's a 50-50, you know? And Alter Ego, he needs to respond, but how do they stop Kalthisi? There's no answer to that up till this 15-minute mark. There, there is another way, though. He can go for the Lord Steel. Mm. He is, he does have the retribution. He can go through walls, and that might be the riskiest play, but if they do it, that's high risk, high reward. All right, good news and bad news for Alter Ego. Yeah, they're armed before the lane cutting. They do have the steel. Bad news is, I don't think Brandy Sport is going to make it easy. All right, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. If you don't have it yet, please. Pay attention to the left side of your screen. Carl TZ and Flap TZ, the TZ brothers, have mirrored stats. 15, 0 and 5, and 1, 0 and 15. This next Lord is up and online, luminous as it is. That's top and bottom pushed in by Brandy Sports, and this fight is going to break out. That's going to be a knock up on a Leo Murphy. They haven't finished the job. That's going to be the way of the dragon pushing him back to retreat. Telly Boy is taking quite a bit of damage. Tempest of Blades to get out of here. Pi as well. Battle Mirror Image out. That's about less than half health for three members of Brand Esports. And despite that, Alter Ego knows that this is not a fight they can win. They disengage. Yeah, they yeah. have to disengage right now, but they are threatening them by just having members by the corners of the Lord. Just, just look at this right now. Like, Leo Murphy, he's basically a punching back every single time he appears himself. Like, how far can he go when he's fighting against this Lancelot? Alter Ego as well. They they almost took down a member here for the side oh. of Red Esports. Oh. And yeah, he does have the Purify. He's not going to go for it. As it is right now, he can still get out. He's oh, waiting side. for the Wave of the Dragon. But Sally Boy here is the next target. He just goes for the Finch Boys. Yeah. He gets away. And Carl TZ is the target of Yam. And there it is. Purify will be used, Carthese almost going down, and he just recalls away. 
I like the small things that these teams are doing to just get that advantage. Yeah, and you can definitely see that he didn't even pop that immortality. So all that invested effort coming in from Yam as well so far haven't been able to just get that to pick up that he wants to. And speaking of which, Bill going for the end big. Oh. And boy, and Hep is a play to be used. Here we go. The fight has already broken. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this might be the last one. Better dare strike by the Doctor. Pi gets blasted. Fab TZ gets the kill. And that's a minus one on the side of Alter Ego. Make that a minus two. Another oh, added to the notch of Carl. Oh, TZ. the back door. Back no! the face. Coming in. There's a huge wave. Ladies and Jelly gentlemen. Boy. Jelly Boy. Jelly Boy. You oh, know. that's it! Oh, no. and Esports oh. eliminate Alter Ego from the playoffs! Have you seen anything like that? As this is the first time we are seeing this being pulled off, and it's coming from the Philippines. They make their mark, they advance to the lower bracket finals. You see how hard it is for Bryn to take that game away from Alter Ego. 